Cyclogyro Rotor. The Austria-based company Cyclotech is working to adapt the principle of the Voigtschneider marine propeller designed almost a century ago for maritime transport in order to use it in aviation, in particular for flying taxis and drones. The company has unveiled their unique cyclogyro propulsion system, which can rotate at high speeds while still producing enough thrust to be a completely competitive alternative aircraft propulsion system. It aims to start flight testing and for 80 kilograms electric demonstrator with its new patented technology later this year. For extraordinary mobility and control in the air, the VTOL aircraft uses Voigtschneider propellers instead of rotors. The cyclogyro offers not just vertical takeoff and landing, but also on the directional mobility and forward flight capability, which has been shown to be more efficient in in-house wind tunnel experiments. The benefits of rotorcraft and fixed cyclogyro technology. A cyclogyro rotor features many wings that rotate at a consistent speed around a central rotation axis. Through Conrad's, these wings are attached to a freely spinning hub. Small unmanned aerial vehicles can benefit from the new technology. It can also be used to eliminate the need for a helicopter-designed tail rotor, where the cyclogyro pair can equalize the torque from the main propeller and, where necessary, provide an additional lift and directional thrust. Jetoptera It might be difficult for one air taxi concept to stand out among the dozens that have been presented in recent years. Jetoptera, on the other hand, has worked out how to capture our attention. The J2000 Flying Automobile from the Seattle Company is definitely one of the most exciting air taxi designs we've seen. What is the reason behind this? Because it has a different propulsion technology than its competitors, though admirers of Dyson's high-tech fans may find it strangely familiar. Over the last few years, the great majority of VTOL designs, electric or otherwise, have depended on a propeller system to provide lift and velocity. According to New Atlas, the J2000 is propelled with a mechanism Jatopter refers to as a Fluidic Propulsion System, or FPS. The system, which recently won the company a contract with the U.S. Air Force, operates similarly to a Dyson bladeless fan, converting the air surrounding the aircraft into powerful thrust. There's no information on when the J2000 might go into production, which is typical of these types of projects. Nonetheless, the Air Force's interest in Jatopter's fluidic propulsion technology offers us optimism that an aircraft from the firm may take to the skies in the not-too-distant future. Air SpaceX At the North American International Auto Show in Detroit, Air SpaceX, a subsidiary of Detroit Aircraft Corporation, unveiled a subscale model of their autonomous electric VTOL aircraft, Moby One. Moby One is a self-flying aircraft that can take off like a helicopter, fly like a plane, and carry passengers or freight between cities, suburbs, and airports in under 60 minutes. Moby One will have a max speed of 250 miles per hour and will be powered by existing EV architecture and autonomous technology. The creation of this new kind of aircraft is now conceivable because of the recent improvements in electric propulsion, automation, and lightweight materials. Moby One will provide economical on-demand air transportation that is clean, quiet, and open to the general public. The Moby development program will be costly, but air mobility has the potential to create billions in revenue for the economy. Last year, Americans spent $300 billion in fuel and productivity while stuck in traffic, resulting in 38 billion pounds of CO2 emissions. Not only is traffic encroaching on our life, but it is also causing environmental damage. On-demand air mobility will go a long way toward alleviating traffic congestion while also increasing commuter quality of life. The Terrafugia TF2 Terrafugia has floated a concept that is a significant change from their two prior designs, dubbing their vehicles, flying cars, in several of their public announcements. 
The TF2 will function similarly to a shuttle bus, but with the added benefit of being able to travel further than in town. Transforming on-demand travel with a three-part transportation system. Door-to-door -door service allows for seamless travel. It will be able to share a passenger pod for up to four passengers plus baggage. Please enjoy the rest of the video, and if you like it, remember to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe to our channel. The pods are also designed to carry up to 1,400 pounds of cargo. With an integrated fly and drive transportation system, automated, fast and repeatable vertiport operations. Vehicle ride height automatically adjusts for perfect pod docking. Pilot briefs passenger via two-way video link to pod. Ultra-reliable electric motors provide quiet lift. Less than two minutes turnaround time maximizes revenue from flying assets. Estimated cruise speed 125 kts. Estimated range with 30 minutes reserve 190 nanometers. Bypass traffic and rush hour in the air. No loading and unloading on the vertiport. Please enjoy the rest of the video, and if you like it, remember to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Cargo are driven to their final destination. EVTOL Mobi One by ASX. Airspace Experience Technologies, ASX, an aviation technology startup, is reimagining personal air transportation with the mission of providing urban commuters with a cleaner, faster, and more affordable transportation alternative. The ASX team is working on an electric vertical takeoff and landing tilt wing EVTOL, aircraft called MOBI-1 from its offices at the historic Detroit City Airport. The objective is to develop and manage fleets of safe and dependable aircraft that will help smart cities become even smarter by drastically reducing commuting times and emitting zero emissions. A fully electric MOBI-1 with proven zero-emission electric propulsion and broadband V2X vehicle-to-vehicle networking will have a range of 100 miles and a cruise speed of 150 miles per hour, allowing it to cut a 60-minute travel down to 15 minutes or less for the cost of a ground vehicle for hire. MOBI-1 has a range of up to 300 miles 
thanks to its hybrid propulsion system, making it ideal for regional travel and freight using the country's general aviation airports.